Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is another video for No Man's Sky to show you how to make some money. This one is actually quite interesting because this is a dead planet. Now, it's worth looking out for these dead planets because it seems that a lot of dead planets and also uh, inhospitable planets with acid rain and radiation and such have a lot of hidden treasures on them. I discovered this planet, which I've since renamed Gravitino Ball World, because I went and adventurizing on it, landed on it, and found there wasn't very much going on. But then, a few feet away, there were some Gravitino balls. Now, these balls glow very brightly, as you can see. And if you pick them up, you immediately get sentinels coming after you. This world is actually worse than that as well, because the threat of sentinels is actually aggressive, so they come after you no matter what you do anyway. Um, but you pick up these balls, and if you get a good collection of them, you can actually get quite a lot of money. They're not worth as much as the larval cores that I covered in the previous video. But they are worth quite a lot of money. Now, so if you can find a planet like this, which basically is covered in Gravitino balls, my tip would be to empty your inventory, go to a space station, sell everything you own. If you sell everything in your spaceship, everything in your person, and everything in your freighter, you can get lots of Gravitino balls in one go. Go down the, on, onto the planet's surface, collect, fill your inventories, fill your starship, and fill your freighter up with them, and then go back to the space station and sell them. And then just keep repeating this process. Uh, I managed to get several million units from doing this and it's pretty easy. Sentinels themselves aren't too intelligent and they will see you and come after you but you can basically jetpack your way out of the way and run away with quite a bit of ease. As I showed in one of my previous tips videos you can also jump back in your spacecraft and then zap off into the distance. All you need is about 30 seconds of flying around on the planet's surface before they get bored and give up. And then you can land again and repeat the process and that kind of calms down the uh, problem. You'll also find on space stations you have several missions for destroying sentinels. And that's a good way of doing it, is getting in your spacecraft and shooting them. The dog-like sentinels, robots that walk around on legs, you can blow them up really easily with your spaceship. And if you do that, you get the you get some resources for doing so and you also complete those missions, so it's quite handy. Another thing to watch out on worlds, dead planets like this, is these metal fingers. They basically uh, require you to destroy them completely to get the resources out, but they have high quality materials in there like uranium, gold, and things like that. So they take quite a lot of uh, mining beam. They're probably not worth as much as the Gravitino ball, but they're still worth doing. So basically, my tip is to watch out for these inhospitable planets and dead planets. Don't immediately assume because it's got no buildings on it and no life that it's not worth visiting. It's worth going the extra distance. This one was quite a way away from the space station, took quite a way to get to, but you can see the amount of balls it got out of it is fantastic. As I said, I made several million units from doing it. Um, I show at the end of the video, 49 of them was worth about 500,000 units, so you can see it requires quite a lot of back and forth. But if you fill your freighter up with them, you can carry a lot. Like you can carry uh, them in bundles of five, I think, so five in each slot. So you need quite a few free inventory spaces. But if you have a decent sized spaceship and a good freighter and a good inventory space, then you can obviously get a lot in. Oh, another tip here as well is if you get in trouble, you can call your uh, spaceship in from your quick menu and call that into land near you. So if you find you're suddenly overwhelmed by sentinels and you are uh, getting too hurt, then you can do it that way. And also you need to pick up oxygen regularly. So you, although you don't need to blast much in terms of shooting things with your mining beams, you don't need to worry about carbon. You do need to survive. You can see there's one of the walker dogs there. And this is the video going back to the space station. I didn't actually manage to capture one with uh, my inventory completely full, but it gives you a quick showing of what sort of money you can make. As I said, just under 500,000, I believe, is the amount I made from here. So it's worth having a look at. Uh, this has been the Provoke Prawn. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and come back for more. I'm hoping to find this planet again and give you the key to that universe so that you can get there uh, from Stargates. So watch this space and see what happens.